Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dome Keeper. Look at this monstrosity of a Tesla dome. Okay. I am going to go in with the Tesla dome with the cat. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to keep it on the armadillo. I like the armadillo more. Assessor again because I love the assessor. Shield, yeah. Shield gadget. Relic hunt mode because I skipped the um, prestige mode last time. Proceed. Map size. Medium. Automated defense. Start with all defensive gadgets and gadget autonomy, but without a main weapon. Oh. I feel I liked the long cycles. The maze I didn't feel did much until like late game, so I'm just gonna turn that off. Um I think next run I might just do automated defenses. Okay. Oh, yeah. And more forgive right. Yeah, I'm gonna do just keep it on hard, medium sized map with long cycles on. Start run. With the Tesla dome, obviously, because new dome. I like new dome. Mind you, the past two videos. So, in other words, the dome, the artillery dome video, and the and this video. I have never seen anyone use either of these domes. Mainly because the only friends I've actually watched. Reticle movement. Move the reticle across the screen to aim. Hold to charge. Okay. To fire a shot, release after fully charging. Releasing before that will do nothing. Uh, Tesla Dome is versatile. You need to combine all its abilities to succeed with it. Okay. First things first. Okay, that's cool. Okay. First things first. Dome upgrades. I want to see what the dome has to offer. Okay. Regal movement speed. Okay. Quick shot. After shooting a charged shot, you can fire a single weaker shot by tapping the shoot button. And then you can improve the strength of that to be 120%. Okay. Shot power increases the power of the Tesla shot. Uh, the reticle gets a small area within which it will automatically aim at the closest monster. Okay. Electro orb. Each shot leaves an electro orb that deals damage over time and stuns enemies. The applied damage is based on the Tesla shot power. Interesting. Strengthen an existing electro orb by shooting it again. When it grows in it will it then grows in size and will stay for longer. Persistent orbs. Will last longer. Last longer. Last longer. This seems interesting. This is gonna be a fun dome to try out. Okay. Let's go down and start getting resources on this. Also, this episode I'm recording directly after the last one, so I'm immediately not used to having Pretty much all of the stuff that I had in that time. Because that was a really cool, that was a really powerful run. So now I just need to get used to the movement speed and everything again. Uh, why am I so slow? I don't want to be this slow, I want to be fast. Upgrades. That one, that one. Uh, movement speed upgrade is next. Okay. Movement speed. Extra orb. And then I'll start upgrading the dome. Okay. Okay, okay. So last run went really well. I really enjoyed that one. It's fine. The artillery dome is powerful. I can see why people like it. I can understand the premise of it. It is a fun dome to use. 
That doesn't seem right. Anyway, um, really nice dome. I quite enjoyed it. So this round, I'm also gonna go for the explosive orbs because I, I personally feel for my play style, it's the best orb to have. Is the explosive orb. Um, it is by far my favorite of the orb upgrades as well. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep going for the explosive orb in the future as well. Because, I, okay, not necessarily always, I might go for the reflection orb at times as well. Maybe when I'm doing a prestige run, I'll go for the. for the. Actually, no, in a prestige run, especially, you'd want something that can clear out a big area very quickly. So, again, the explosive force is better for that. Hey, water, it's exactly what I want to do. That's all. How does this work? So charge. How do I know when it's fully charged? I don't know how to tell when it's fully charged. Oh. Okay, so the lines inside the dome, once they go solid, it's fully charged. You can really just shoot it anywhere. Interesting. Oh, hang on. You actually shoot up. See, you see the little circle in the bottom right of the of the dome. Once I hit the battle button, it shoots up, and that's how you start controlling it. Oh, that is that is a cool attention. A little cool. That's really cool. I like that. Perfect, now I can see my resources. Awesome. Okay, two cobalt, don't need them just yet, so I'm gonna leave them in my storage. Definitely gonna grab my iron bow. Okay. So yeah, now I just need to start focusing my upgrades again. Once I have the resources to, anyway. Right now I don't have the resources to, Is that an upgrade? We'll see in a second. Yep. It's an upgrade. Awesome. Super early upgrade. I would say it's a permanent upgrade, but it's not a permanent upgrade. It's all of the upgrades that you buy are permanent, but this one you can actually choose not to take anything. Um, what am I offering? Spire Probe. The probe is underwhelming. I used it before, it's underwhelming. The Spire, on the other hand, is really, really good. So I'm gonna take the Spire. I'm gonna go up with the two codes. There. Cool, 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 cool. Oh wait. Yes. Okay. I was aiming slightly down. My bad. My bad. Oh no, my bad. Um. Yes. So now I just need to keep mining for more resources. As per usual. That's what this game is all about. You mine, you defend, you mine, you defend, you mine. You mine, you mine upgrade, defend. That's the whole point of the game. You cannot hide from me, Aqua. Nope. Ah, 
I need it. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Uh, back hold? Uh, giraffe? Uh, I need to upgrade the movement speed. I can't hit those guys quick enough. Okay, hang on. Upgrades. Uh, faster movement. Uh, Electro ore and get to it. Sure. That's all. Oh yeah, that is much better already. That's just the one upgrade. Okay, yeah, I see now what they mean by it does nothing. There we go. I took way too much damage there. I need to upgrade my hand. I don't have. So next time I have enough iron to do that, that is what I need. I'm sending the iron I currently have so that I can do that. See, that's the problem with two, doing two runs in a row, because last run I got extremely lucky with the amount of iron I got. As in, at one point, at one stage, I had like 32 in the bank. If this is, if you haven't watched the previous episode, because, um, so getting used to the fact that I'm not that overpowered right now is kind of what's screwing me over. <laughs> Going from overpowered to weak-ish, I suppose. Um, is it, it is it does make it a bit more difficult to do, just in general. Uh, and then the upgrade I need to grab after the um, dome health is the beam. There's the beam. There's the beam. Four and six. So I need ten in total. How much did I just bring up? Enough? One short. Okay. Dome health, more important. So. Grabbing the dome health. Ooh. Send the orbs here so that I can start mining this way. Again. I should probably just finish mining the one direction and then go for the next. But you know what? Nah. <laughs> I'm doing it my way. Is it the most effective way? Definitely not. But I'm still doing it my way. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed. I wouldn't say disappointed, but the silence in the game feels a bit too long for me. Like, I'm not saying constantly blur the loudest possible music, but like, a bit more frequent music wouldn't, wouldn't be bad. Right? Okay, is there an upgrade that allows me to charge a bit quicker? I hope there is. I didn't quite pay it. I paid attention, I just don't remember. Uh, that's a quick shot. That doesn't help me much. Should do much more power. That's perfect timing. That doesn't really... The best I got is the quick shot, but I still need to charge a full shot before I can use the quick shot. 
So far, I don't have a dome that I particularly dislike. Like so far, all of the domes have been quite fun to use, including the sword dome. Sword dome, the sword dome, in terms of how challenging they are to use, I would say the sword dome is the most difficult, the laser one is the easiest, then I would say artillery is the second hardest, and then Tesla is easy-ish. Because you have the ability to aim where you want it to go, like with your cursor, that makes it a lot easier to use, in my opinion. Again, Anything and everything I say about the game is purely my opinion, and should not be taken seriously. <laughs> um, but it, again, it comes down to a, a, a case of what is your skill level. If you've played games like this before, then I can see you... Then I can see how someone can have the laser dome be the most difficult dome or something along those lines. Not necessarily my, the same experience I'm having with the game. Because I went into this, I played, I think one run, another seed, ooh. If I can find an iron deposit this time around. Because I'm curious to see if the, um, if the deposit you put it on makes a difference. Like if you put it on the iron one, does it go quicker? So now I just need to find an iron deposit. Like this one here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put the seed on it. And that's another upgrade right there. No, 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 no. Don't grow there. I need you to grow on the iron. Would I have preferred if it were on a... Or closer to my, um... Central thing? 100%. Wait, what's this? This is a supplement. That's a supplement. Ooh. Last time, I think it was the supplement that really saved my arms. Ah. See, this is a problem. Because I wasn't able to... set up anything to defend against them... Okay, so... The orb that shows up after the fact... After you've done a full blast. That one one-shots the popcorn. Yes, I'm calling them popcorn still. Um, because that's what they are. Um, that does make things considerably easier. But it is still difficult. Because you still have to fully charge it and then fire. Um, otherwise, you're just going to destroy. Otherwise, nothing's going to happen. So you still need a bit of practice. Support. I still need a bit of practice. Support. Um, how close is that to my? Central line. Closer than the other one is. Oh, I'll be able to see it now. Uh, that one. There you go. Now I'm able to see my central line. That helps. Oh, yeah, that's much closer. I can actually keep an eye on it while I'm going up and down. 
Okay, time to replant the seed. Again. So, right there. Plus, I'm kind of curious if the, um... If the amount of ore that's close by makes a difference as well. This is way better than the one that I had over there. Because the one that's over there I can't keep an eye on. I can keep an eye on this one here. Oh, the the cobalt, one, cobalt one that I had last match. Last run. That was a really good spot. Uh, kind of. And... Uh, it was a very good and a very bad spot at the same same time. Ugh. Words. Work. Oh yes, threatening my words to work. That's good. Okay, I need to get back up. Because I don't have anything that automatically defends. Go. One more. Go. Do. Okay. Yeah. No. This is a loss. Like almost instantaneously. Am I giving up? No. Of course not. I'm gonna fight until the very end. What would help is if I upgrade my spire me. <laughs> oh dear. Oh right, because I don't have the magnetic thing yet. Again, used to the previous runs. Upgrades. Okay, supplement. Electrified hole. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Electrified hole. Add a responsive electrical electrified curtain to the dome hole which hurts monsters attacking in melee. Or reduce the damage taken from monsters' melee hits. Projectile damage is unaffected. I'm gonna go electrified hole. Can I upgrade that as well? Let's see. Yes, I can with five cobalt. Uh, increases the how much damage the monsters take when hitting the dome. Okay. And with that, I will be right back. Okay. I am back. There we go. Okay. Resume. Where was I? I was mining which way? By the looks of it, this way. Um. I was also talking about the music, wasn't I? Like silence in the game? It really makes it difficult for me to know whether or not the audio is working in the game. That's part of the reason why I like the music to be a bit more frequent. Like I, I already have the settings to be to have the music be a bit more frequent as well. Um, but yeah, this, this is the quickest way that I figure out whether or not the audio is working. Is by um, is with mining or collecting things or something like that. Mm. Upgrades. 
I have eight iron. Uh, da, da, da. I want to grab explosive spheres. Yes. Then gravity center would be nice. So I think I'll go for that next. Six. Now I need 12. How much am I short? 6. 5. Okay. 5 iron short of being able to grab grab the center. And no, I'm not mining the two I'm not mining the squares that my three are up is on. Because I want my tree to thrive. And give me lots and lots of ore. Did I grab the explosive spheres just now? Yes, I did. Okay. And yes, that is the quickest way that I can tell whether or not I've grabbed it. <laughs> so, pop, pop. It's just... It, it's so convenient to just do that rather than having to wait for the orbs to constantly Come up a cooldown. Oh! Wave incoming! Wave incoming! Battle! What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Popcorn! And. Bazaar! And. Bazaar! Bazaar! one is quite a bit easier than some of the other towers. Uh, what did I say I wanted to grab? Perfect. Um, because you can just go straight through the dome with it. You don't have to aim over the dome. It isn't a set uh, direction you can aim in. It's just you aim here, cool. You wanna aim here, cool. You wanna shoot your dome, cool. Do that. <laughs> um, that sort of thing. Rather than the, like with the mortar one, you have a specific line where you can fire your mortar, and you have a specific line where you can fire the AA gun, which was on the, on the tower itself. So I personally think that that makes this tower a decent bit easier to use. Okay, next upgrade that I want to work towards is my orbs, the radius for my explosion. Quote unquote explosion, because it's not really an explosive, it's more a spinning laser than an explosive. Now that I have gravity center it may be a bit easier to maneuver with the materials. I probably should have made note of when I planted the seed. So that I can more or less figure out how long it takes for them to grow. I think cobalt in water. Awesome. I actually don't have any cobalt in storage currently. So that is super useful. I have water, I just don't have cobalt. But I still need both. Check in editing and make a note. Check when editing and make a note. In the... I'll put like text on the screen. Of... 
like when I figure it out. <laughs> like when I've planted it, so that we know. And I'll check how much. How many cycles it took to, to fully grow it. Because that's the one thing about the trees that I don't know. And that's how long they take to grow. And now I need to go back up. Did I buy the adaptive wave nutrient? Probably not. See, with this guy now... Now I can easily aim at the bugger. Okay. Not out of your shell. Thank you. Upgrades. I have not gotten the adaptive wave meter. Now I have. Okay. What next? 12 for the improved explosion. I am three short from being able to get that. seed very early, didn't I? I'll, 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 I'll just make notes of it. In post. Okay. Uh, so far, it would seem that I have mined all of the resources of it. that I might not have planned. Okay, that's edging that. And that's... It. Okay, that's just the edge of the map. Okay. Yeah, I forgot I... didn't forget. I know I put it on the smaller map, but it's still a case of... check everything. <laughs> That's the one thing with playing controller with this character is um you can very easily mess up your orb throws. So yeah. Okay. Wave eight. So the next one is nine. Hopefully I didn't just break my okay, no. From edge of the map to edge of the map already. Okay. So now I'm also in the next biome as well. It's weird playing so zoomed in the game. Because last time I got a, a thing that um, increases your field of view. So it's kind of messing me up now that I don't have it. Another relic. Yeah, another upgrade. Okay. Cool. Now I just need to get it up <laughs> to the dome, which will be easy once I mine through all of this. All of this here, rebel. Go up. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know, I know. I need to get back up. And I'm out. Going up. I'm sorry if I, I didn't check what the other one was. I don't care either. The auto cannon is too good to pass up. 
fairly on. Last time I went for the machine gun, this time I'll go for the shotgun. It's gonna be a bit more expensive, but... Yeah. How much is it gonna cost in total, actually? Uh, 6, 10, 18 iron, and 6 water. Okay. I read the wrong one, didn't I? I did. Six, sixteen, twenty-four iron and nine water. That is way more. That's not super expensive, but it's still more expensive by a decent amount. Hey, more iron. Oh yes, okay. For my ability to go off the cooldown, perfection, then... Oop, See, it just makes doing that a lot easier, having the explosive orbs. Okay, then I need to upgrade my explosive orbs to have a bigger radius. I can actually just fire my orbs as well, because... Wait for it... Fifteen iron... And nine water... How much iron did I say I needed in total for the... Max shotgun? Eighteen twenty-four... Twenty-four... So if I can get nine more iron before the next wave, I can have the thing maxed out. Yeah? Yeah. And then I have to take the upgrade for a larger area on my orb. Not if, can, or when, it will happen. <laughs> right after I max up my shotgun. Because <laughs> I personally feel being able to max something like that out immediately is way better than having to do it in increments. So just maxing out instantaneously then you don't have to worry about it again in the future. Um, that's my logic. That's the logic I'm using to justify my choices. Yeah. Okay, wasn't able to get the 9 before the wave, but... Okay, let me just drop it, because otherwise I'm not going to make it in time to defend. But I will be able to get it before the next wave, at the very least. Battle, popcorn. Okay, more popcorn. Did I put long waves on? Remember. 
don't have any cobalt, so I can't repair. Hey. That's two iron. Do, 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 do. Enough for it. Must be likely. Come on. There you go. I did get the gravitation pull thing, so. There we go. Up you go. Come on, then get caught. There we go. There we go. Okay. No. Next, we're going to go in. 21, 22, 23, 24. There we go. Okay. That, that, that. And I have seven left. Persistent orbs. Yes. So that they stay longer and deal more damage. Yes. 100%, yes. Okay. Now... Now I'm gonna work on getting my orbs upgraded. Yes. Like I said I would. Oh! You just found a one-way teleporter. Place the eye. And then... Press again to teleport back to it. Can I move the eye? That's my biggest question, is can I move the eye? Let's place it down and find out, shall we? Oh! It's on a cooldown. Okay. Interesting. That is a new mechanic to me. <laughs> okay. To me, that's a brand new mechanic. I've never gotten that before. Okay. I can't place it down immediately. Okay. I can't place it down right now. So I need to. Go all the way back up, and then all the way back down. Okay, okay the shotgun's doing work. Shotgun's working quite well, actually. Still, I still like the machine gun more. Ooh! It's dropping three iron now. Okay. So, wave 11, three iron. Okay, and my eye is now off of cooldown, so now I'll press triangle and place it down. 
but I will place that down in the deepest area that I can go to so that it's easier for me to get back there for the defect so I can get to the deep pit quicker is that a good idea? I don't know I honestly don't know because I have never used this before do 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 I've seen it used before, I've just never personally used it before. That's why I'm kind of wondering what's the best course of action with it. Like, water is great and all, but can I get any of that there, uh, clue ball? have to be very careful when I'm doing something like that. That I don't accidentally destroy my iron tree. No? <sighs> or I think that might be a better idea. I think that might be a better idea to do. Because if I do that, and the wave starts, I can just whoop, and I'm back. I think that's a better idea. Yes. Yes. So I'm gonna do that. So now I can actually spend a tad bit more time down here in mine. So I can just go whoop whoop. That's a cool animation. There goes my shield. What are you? I don't know what those are, big popcorns. Hmm. Apparently big popcorns are a thing. I didn't know. Okay. I got a life of four. I can increase my life. Actually no, twelve. Twelve. I need twelve. I need twelve. I need twelve. I need eight more iron so that I can increase the size of my Oh my god, that is a lot of iron. Two, four. That's six iron on wave 12 from the tree. Where. So it's doubled. The, the, the iron has doubled. Okay, stop. Shoot, there we go. My controller stick bugged again. I also don't know if it's sort of a thing of it depends on the amount of resource in the vein that you put it on. I really don't know how the trees work. But if I get offered, a, if I win this run, and I get offered a gadget, I'm probably going to take the gadget. Because it's something new. Doki. 
that's going to be enough iron for the upgrade, which is excellent. So, that's the portal back down. Then I need to, after I've gotten the upgrade for my orbs, I need to upgrade my uh, bundle duration again. Because that, that really helped out last time. When it came to ferrying the resources up. So I definitely need to do that. up. Okay. Quick shot. Shot power. Shot power. Okay. Not all. What do we got? What do we got? Where do we got up? I, I really prefer the, the uh, machine gun ver variant of the water cannon. So now it's three again. Hmm. Interesting. So does it vary per way? Again, I don't know. I honestly don't know. There we go. This is how you strip mine. At least in this game. With this character. Without the explosive actual thing to use when strip mining. <laughs> That's built into the game, you know that thing? Yeah. I really don't- I also don't know what's up with these, like, mice cat things that are all over the place. I don't know what's there either. Do I want to find out? Not really, because they don't seem to bother me. In the sense of, they don't like, attack me or anything. Yeah, I can put my portal down again. Cool. Yeah, I need to upgrade my bundles again. so that they can travel for longer. Oh! It's one of the switches. Ooh. Okay, in that case, start going for it. 
Not getting for it. Ha! Found it. No, that's another switch. What? What? I thought that was the thing I needed. Ah, there it is. I say it should be nearby. Yes, yes, I know the waves in town. But more important to deal with right now, okay? Was it only the two switches? No. No, there's a third. Okay. After this wave, we're done. Cool. I really need to remember to... Ow. Put my... Portal down. That's... Was a quick one. Yeah, I am definitely going to rely on the um on the nuke for this one because I have zero cobalt. Down here ish. Somewhere along here is the final switch. Like that one right there. Okay, so I didn't have to... I didn't max out my... cannon yet, or anything like that. But, I mean... This is a... I'll put it this way. I like the idea of it. I'm most probably gonna go back to the mortar. Because the, 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 the mortar one... was a bit more fun for me. Once you put the, the ultimate relic in, it just immediately starts a fight. Like, there is no... Like, oh, let me just, real quick, gather up some more resources. It's, once it's in, you fight. Oh, it also heals your dub to full. That was a quick one compared to the last time. <laughs> last time was like an hour. Wave survived 13, yeah, 49 minutes. Cool. New world and new run modif modifier. Prestige, Orchard, and Repellent. Okay. I think... I am going to go for the orchard. Plant a tree in the dome that grows fruits to buff your movement and mining power. It's a new gadget. And then I will... Oh, I didn't check my... Oops. I didn't check the, um... The thing. So, Tesla... Artillery. Thank you. I like the artillery a lot more. Um, yeah. Okay. So, that's going to do it for this episode of Dumpkeeper. And I will see everybody in the next one. Goodbye.